Hey folks, Mark Schultz here again with Backwood Basics. You know, a while back we introduced the book, just a set of plans that detailed how to build this composter. A steel drum sitting on a base using a motor that would turn the composter, set on a timer, it would turn however many times a day that you want it to do. And it's, it's a design that we have built. This is our fourth one that we have operating. We have three going right now. And they've been pretty well flawless for us for three years. They work really well, but some people express some concern that the steel barrels would rust out too quickly. Well, that has not been our experience, but we generally keep them under cover. We keep them either in our hoop house or we keep one in our garage. So that might be a factor, but they work really well for us. Steel barrels are flat on the sides. You know, they're, they're straight. That it makes them easier to work with. But I revisited plastic, and so I came up with this prototype. For those that have concerns about a steel barrel and want to go with the plastic drums, we can get these for about $10 locally. And what I did is I used bearings. Most people just drill a hole and stick a rod through there and don't mess with a bearing, but I used a, just a wheelbarrow type bearing that pushes into a hole that I drilled and I use that washer just to hold the bearing in place. And then on this side, it's my pulley itself that holds the bearing in place. Now, buying a 22 inch pulley would cost more than I care to think about. So I made mine out of three quarter inch plywood and a bicycle rim and just bolted it to the side of the barrel. And then I mounted the same motorized system that I use on this composter. So that's all the same. It's just that I'm using a plastic barrel. And then I went with a with a sliding door on the top. Now the sliding hatch works pretty slick. I just used the piece of plastic that was cut out and then I used PVC trim board as the the guides as as the, the rails to hold it in place. So it can support all the weight, you know, 100 pounds of, of compost flopping against that door can get kind of heavy. So the base is just a simple 2x4 base. On the inside, I just used one inch electric conduit, I don't know if we can see inside there or not, as a spacer. And then the same on the outside. So we haven't filled it yet, but I'm sure it'll work just fine. For those of you that prefer the plastic option, and there's a, if there's enough interest, I'll uh, write up a set of, of plans for it as a free download on our website. You know, for those of you that purchase the plans for this composter, but have hesitations about using a steel steel barrel, you know, this one, like that one, will work just fine without the motor. This one especially spins like like everything, so. Uh, if you don't mind going out every day and spinning your composter, that's an option. But boy, I sure like not having to be here to spin these things. They turn every day, twice a day, for five minutes each time, whether I'm here or not. So I'll fire this thing up and just show you how it works. This is on high speed. It's a two-speed wiper motor, so I figure why not have the two-speed option. So, for those of you who are interested in this, visit our website, www.backwoodbasics.com, and happy gardening.